Hello, I'm Rubal Khan from KC Tech School, and the following video tutorials have been created to guide you to use VRVIX, a free virtual robotics programming platform created by VIX Robotics. Hello and welcome to tutorial 9. Now, hope you had a good time trying to solve my last challenge, which was challenge 7. Okay, now this is the solution down here. This is not the full solution. Obviously, there are functions, okay, which I've, which I've actually hidden behind this uh, maze here. Let's try and think how the functions are going to look like. So I've got to repeat 4, draw blue, drive forward 400, draw red, drive forward 200, and then draw blue, drive forward, draw row red. Now, so what is a draw row blue, okay? A draw row blue I've defined as drawing, turning right, and then drawing a line all the way, and then turning left, facing upwards again. So that's that's my draw blue, and that's what you have down. Let me shrink it. That's what you have down here. Okay. So turn right 90 degrees. Your pen color is blue. Go forward 1,089 blocks. Turn left 90, and you are you're actually facing this way. So that's draw blue. Draw red is basically starting from here. Okay, and then turning left, and then drive forward 1,008. Make sure your pen color is red before that, and then at the end you turn right so that you're facing upwards again. So that gets you from this row, blue, and then this row, red, without actually drawing a line when you go from one row to another. Because you're moving your pen up at the end of the function, whether it's blue or whether it's red, your pen is moving up. Okay, Then it moves down at the beginning of the function. Now what's critical is that because you're moving from here to here, and then next, next thing is from here to here, you need, you need a command for it to move from one row to another in your repeat loop. So I've got draw blue, ends here, drive forward for 200, goes to the next row, draw red, ends here, drive forward again. And then I repeat that four times. And the reason why I don't repeat that five times, if I had that repeated five times, it will go to 91 and it will try, look at this, this angle, go to 91, there's a wall here, it will try and go across the wall and it might actually flip, okay? So I actually repeat it four times. The last one was single draw blue. So from here, draw blue, draw forward 200, draw red, and that's it, all right? You might, want, you might want to turn it right 90 degrees at the end if you want, but I didn't find that necessary because that wasn't part of the challenge. Let's see how this works out. Okay, here I go. There you go. That's my blue function. See the see the, the part being highlighted. Okay. Okay. Again, you realize there is no lines when I cross from one row to another. That's because I'm actually moving my pen down. I'm driving forward at the end. I move my pen up and then I drive forward, so no line gets drawn when you cross your row. All right, come on. Hurry up, hurry up, come on. We're all waiting. Hurry up. Okay, just got to be patient with this because that's maximum velocity. I wish I could turn the velocity to 500%. wonder if I can, though. Probably try the next time around. All right, cool. There you go. Finally. Okay, it's ended. It's all. It's already turning. It's turning right way up because... At the end, it's a turn right for 90 degrees. It's perfect, perfect ending. Okay, now, let's look at your, the next challenge. And if you've done this, really, really great job, because this was probably the toughest challenge so far. Okay. Now, your next challenge would be this one. This is a wall maze. Okay, a lot of you would be saying, wow, this is a maze. This, has been, this is basically what we've been waiting for. Why didn't you give this to us earlier? Because if I gave this to you guys earlier, you would probably have solved this. By moving forward, certain maybe 500 mils to 200 mils, turning left and doing that forward, left, right, forward, right. I mean, this is not difficult. Step by step, you can do it. This is not difficult, but it's it's how efficiently you can do it with the least number of steps, which is why I sort of introduced this after you learn functions, because when you learn functions, you can define a certain movement by using a function. Now, look very carefully at this. Okay, so let's say I'm starting here. Okay, now one step in this maze is 250. So I drive forward for 250, turn left. 
Alright. Drive forward for 250, turn right. Obviously, that's how you start. So turn left, turn right. Drive forward for 250, turn left. Okay, drive forward for 250, turn right. Observe a pattern, and you need to do this whenever you, you try, you're kind of solving any problem, is try and observe patterns. This is really critical in, in, in doing programming when you're doing robotics, all right? You would realize there's a pattern in the first five or six steps, and I want you to sort of probably do a repeat loop if you can, all right? So, and you've got movements that are being repeated, like 250 left, 250 right. Obviously, you're not going to drag in a drive forward 250 turn right every single time you need functions all right so think about these functions think about the different distances so 250 is a di is a distance you've got you might have a longer distance here how much is that try and see it's probably three steps so instead of one step being 250 it might be 750 or maybe you need to go all the way here yeah, it could be about 750 this could be shorter this could be longer try and come up with a few functions now you might need three or four different functions for this Okay, now, so all the best. Remember, try and use pattern, recognize patterns, do repeat loops as, as much as you can, but it may not be possible for, for all the parts of the maze, maybe the initial part, do a repeat loop if you can, create, as, create different functions, as long as the functions are repeatable, that's what I said. As long as you can repeat certain functions, do it. If your function is to be called only once, there is no point doing that function. You might as well drag the blocks that are required because you're only going to call it once anyway all right so all the best i've given you enough clues to solve this challenge so you need to get from here there's your starting point go all the way and then this way end up in the red square so this is the challenge all right by using functions using a repeat loop if you can okay be as efficient as possible thank you very much for listening